Hey everyone, very important video for you today. Um, I've noticed that photographers are getting their images labeled as made with AI on meta platforms like Instagram and Facebook. And I want to quickly just show you how to get around that and preface this by saying that, of course, if you have a photograph where you use it, AI for a little bit, like expanding and stuff like that, this is what it's meant for. This is not meant for people who are using AI images and just kind of want to get around the, uh, the label there. So of course, do with that what you will. Secondly, this is not 100% tested. This is an assumption that Meta is using the metadata uh, to go ahead and decide whether a photograph is made with AI or not or mislabel things accordingly. So keep that in mind. Um, if They probably might even have other flagging systems that they're using to determine whether something is AI or not. And personally speaking, I hope not because that is going to open a whole can of worms. But anyways, there we go. I have an image here from Unsplash. I'm just going to use the generative AI um, expand. Now this will happen if you're cropping an image. Um, this will also happen. So if you are cropping an image, make sure generative expand is not on and only content aware fill is on because somehow that's not AI. Okay, anyway, so I'm gonna hit generate and it's gonna go through its motions. And the reason I'm doing this is to show you where it's going to label it as AI. So you know before you hit save and before you upload, whether your image is probably safe or not. So I, I went ahead and did that. I kind of found the image. Now I'm going to go to File, Export, Export As. And you'll see over here in this section, it says Content Credentials. A content credential will be automatically applied for Adobe Firefly Generative AI Use Transparency. So it basically just has it in the metadata. Now to get around that, what you could do is go to uh, Flatten Your Image. Uh, for, so make sure you've saved everything that you're working on before you flatten it. And then you're going to flatten it and hit Command A or Control A if you're on PC. Just go to File, New, say Create, and then Command V, whoops, Command A, Command C to copy, and then coming over to your new document here, Command V. Or if you're on PC, it's Command or Control A, Control C, and Control V. Now that you've done that, I'm going to go to flatten it again. And if I go to File, Export, Export As, you'll see here that it really doesn't have that enabled because metadata metadata is stripped. Now, I'm sure there's many ways to strip the metadata, but this is one of them, which is really quick and easy because you're in Photoshop, but uh, do any method you like. But hopefully now when you upload this image, it shouldn't have that made with AI label on it. And I just want to make this to hope that it does help other photographers. If you're looking to learn more about AI specifically in your workflow and use it as a tool for your photography and enhancing your vision, please check out my platform, which is called Feature Photo. And on that platform, uh, I have a course called AI for Photographers to help augment creativity. And for example, if you're looking to help calling, if you're looking to help retouching, especially the new Evoto update that just happened, or if you're looking to create digital backdrops or mood boards, I have a platform that really puts it all into one place quick and efficiently so you can kind of learn. And as it does update really often so that way you can keep on top of tools that you should know. and potentially you might want to have in your workflow. So I love this because I get to pour everything that I think is important into one platform for education purposes and hope that helps. And oh yeah, we just added a chat GPT for the photographers uh, free 50 uh, page PDF as well. So anyways, let me know if this whole workflow worked for you. I haven't really fully tested it yet because of the urgency of the situation. I just wanted to make a video to give photographers a quick thing to check before uploading to Meta because, you know, they suck truthfully and I don't know what they were thinking. This is going to put a whole new can of worms here for photographers. And if it does work for you, please let me know. If you have any other tips, please leave the comments. I have my community checking the comments. So if you think a tip, another tip is better, please leave it in the comments and uh, I'll be happy to, uh, you know, have the community come together here for this one and uh, really work together and make sure that we don't have photos that are labeled as AI when they're really not.